this show is for the dreamers. It's for the ones who never quite belonged. If you've got greatness inside of you, I'm carrying this camera around for you. I just wanna increase my appetite. Niggas are ready to kill at my moment, these niggas don't matter to me. The envy, the talent, the gift, and the balance, the matters don't matter to me. All of my niggas, yeah, we get the crackin' and nobody messin' with me. Niggas ain't nothing to me. Bitch, you ain't nothing to me. Again. Niggas are ready to kill at my moment, these niggas don't matter to me. The envy, the talent, the gift, and the balance, the matters don't matter to me. Goodness. What a warm car ride over I had. I, I mean, I never have had AC, but <laughs> I like my car runs hot, as we know. Yeah. And uh, so it's been kind of overheating a couple times the past few days. And so I just have the heat blasting constantly. <laughs> what is this place called again? This is uh, Joel's Hole, <laughs> aptly named. Um, it's kind of a it's kind of a cave-like setting. It's dark, never sees light. Smells like boy and uh, beer and uh, Mexican food, because that's the local <laughs> fare. Uh, in this corner here is, is where you pee, and, uh, and I'm gonna do that shortly. <laughs> and uh, as you can see there by that can on the ground, that's our, our local beverage of choice. And that's a Coors Banquet, the banquet beer. And I just want to tell you that if you're gonna drink a beer, it might as well be a Coors. Coors, the banquet beer. There used to just be like a shade of darkness. A, there, there was sort of a cloud of dead branches and spiders hanging like inches from yeah. our heads every yeah. single day. It and was, it was really just scary. right here. You could reach up and touch it. Uh, it was but, terrifying. Uh, yeah, my, it was really scary. Yeah. Uh, my, my German roommate came in here with some weed whackers and just tore it all down. <laughs> oh, why don't you grab yourself a Coors? That's exactly what's going to happen. Why don't we tear this fucking place apart? Let's tear my whole heart apart. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh -huh. here's a character we know and love. Once again, please put your hands together. Ah, uh -huh. there he is once again, the fan favorite. Everybody loves the kid. Please put your hands together for pertinent. There's a, uh, there's only one slice left. Um, yeah. You can, you can have it. Okay. Sorry, I cannot be fake. Never hold back. Never say face. Get these fucking boxes out of my way. Put that goddamn camera down and do something. <laughs> How is it that this much? Look at bro. Hold on, hold on. Look at this. Get a view of the roof of this thing. What's going on in the garage? That this much is falling from the ceiling. Hold on, I'm serious. We're disassembling my entire life. No. I'm actually very sad. We're taking apart um, an integral part of the pretty lore today. Yeah. I wish we could get one more like good fucking wide of it, you know? I know. And this here shed, many moments, historic or not, have occurred. Many songs, many tales, many friends, many foes, but most of all, memories. I don't know where that was going. <laughs> um, that was beautiful. That was good, right? That wasn't yeah. that bad. Okay, yeah. good. We're taking apart the shed in which I made, I don't know, probably what, like the first four months of the tapes in. Um, but just such an integral part because uh, I think it's where, like, the conception of all the lore kind of started of, like, just the storybook life stuff was like, oh, yeah, and, like, mm. I'll move out to the crib, and then where will I make music? Oh, well, we'll build something outside. Like, we'll figure it out. So just that was kind of like the deciding factor coming out and like being able to actually do it. And crazy. Not water resistant at all. <laughs> uh, no insulation either. So there's a space heater that I still currently use that aided me on many nights. Um, but yeah, dude, fuck. It's kind of sad because it's cool as fuck. It's cool as fuck. It just represents the start of like fucking yeah. everything, dude. Before there was like any lore or anything, this was like really one of the first uh, pieces to like building it, you know? Yeah. This documentary is gonna hit, dude. I know. Holy shit. <laughs> we need to put this shit, it better be in theaters. Oh my God. I hadn't really seen him in a while, so he wanted to tell me about uh, this tour that he had just gone on. There was a part where I was just going, rapping everything, not taking breaths where I normally do. Mm -hmm. And I finished the song and they were just going so insane that I just had this thought, I was like, bro, like, I'm just gonna fall over right now. And they're gonna fucking love this shit. 
So, dude, I, like, put my arms out to my sides and, like, just fell onto my back on some rock star shit. And, like, was just laying on the stage just, like, like breathing crazy because I was so out of breath or whatever. Yeah. And I was definitely playing it up. But I fucking <laughs> give him my Oscar. Uh, but, yeah, dude, and they were just going nuts. And there was just this moment of laying there and just having this connection with them and whatever. And just being like, yo, I could lay here for five minutes right now. And they would still be going crazy, you know? Like, we were just yeah. so – it, it was such a cool exchange of energy, wow. bro. I was like – I could have done anything better. Yeah, it was so dope. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and there was a tornado, bro. There was a tornado in Houston, dude. There was. I didn't really think about it, but dude, put the camera down. <laughs> this whole shit is about to fall apart. And it's going to just fall on the floor. It's going to be loud as fuck. Yep. And everybody's going to yell, and I'm going to be hated on. So I don't want that to happen. Dude, you're getting <laughs> Ah, oh, it's hard to explain. Like, I'm more passionate about telling the story now than I am about how it's how it's perceived. Though I still do want people to enjoy it and watch it, but I want to like, I want to make something that's just like, for the art of making something that's really good. I think that that's what I care more about now. Um, I started this thing when I was 18 years old. Now I'm 24. And it's working. It's actually working now. And sometimes the stars align and you can just see it. And it all makes sense. Everything clicks. With the production company and the filmmakers, plus the musicians, and this, this channel, this is going on. And just what all of it together could really look like. And yeah, just the individual stories of each person. It's it's the garage with Dante. It's it's the four people that live in this house and their individual stories of of what they're building and how they're a part of it. It's each artist. It's it's the story with M that goes way back to the beginning of Live Two. It's it's the story of Pertinence who proved to himself and to everyone else that even the, like through willpower and just determination he's he's managed to build his way to where he's at and he's worked for everything that he's had and like just there's a spirit behind that that's just so rare that I want to be able to capture in this and right now there's a story that I want to tell because I feel very close to it and that's the story of Timmy Skelly this 28 year old who has been out here for like, I don't know, seven or eight years now trying to make it work and gone through so many ups and downs from it. And like now this community that he's built around himself with that band and that, that dingy studio that they've got, Joel's Hole. And now because they've worked so hard to define who they are and the art that they're making. It is, it is special, man. He's working at Barney's Beanery right now, man. Four nights a week, shift till 3 a.m. And then they're making some of the best music I've ever heard. So I'm waiting to put this next episode out because I know that the songs that he's making right now, I need to be in this show. Fucking hectic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's crazy. It's a sick way to start, though. It's like when we last went together for two days, our hearts were just like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's another like adrenaline ass fucking song. You put it on, you're just gonna be like, oh. There's an LCD sound system thing going on with that. decided that there must be something out there everything's just so damn pretty and it all just works so well i can't believe in not believing because there's something just we're seeing through the end no matter when or where or why it all breaks down and i know that i'm a thousand miles away from my home and everything i thought that i'd ever know no 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 no
There's this weird psychology, though, isn't there, about, like, why wouldn't we see how slow is too slow? Yeah. But, like, it, it's like, oh, that feels I good. Yeah, I, don't I don't want to hear it. Anymore. I don't yeah. want to, like, even hear it. I don't want but, to like, yeah. But let me just hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, you know what I mean, though? Yeah. Yeah. Right? I think the one do we before, try? Do you agree? Yeah, I think I agree. Do, I think do, you, do you often break through the fourth wall? Or is like a reverse? <laughs> that there was James Flanagan. He doesn't quite often love being on camera, but when he's okay with it, he sure is funny. And he's also a great producer. He and Timmy, as I said, making probably the dopest DP and body of work that I've gotten to be a part of. So, shout out to James. We love you, James. Now, back to me and Dante nerding out in the garage. I think that you can become like A tier by just mastering one of the four like things, but in yeah. order to become the the next Disney or whatever, like it's all of them plus more. This it's is theoretically like, every single company that works in music in any capacity. Yeah. It, like falls into this. Yeah. Like Brownies and Lemonade. Right. They're there. Or like yeah. for you. They're yeah. there. It's like it's, every company that exists in music in any way, shape, or form, yeah. like kind of falls into this. Um, I, I don't know how big you can get while maintaining what we're talking about. Like, I think that certain Where's levels could lemonade? grow huge. Lyrical Lemonade, is so they started here. That, right? I mean, they did this better than anybody else ever before. Ever has. Um, not, not even just before, just like now. Like, right. ever has. They haven't really tapped much into this at all. Like, Have you seen Lyrical Lemonade 2? I think that's their attempt at doing that. But it that thing that we were just talking about? The network? That's what we want to build out on this very YouTube channel, aka the new MTV. So is to another night of sleep with my guitar on my chest. It's hard to breathe, but fortunately, suffocation is what I know best. My therapist, he told me that Pandora's box was holding me underground. And I'm too afraid to open up Cause I don't know what I might be letting out Maybe in time it'll slow down Once I get out of this ghost town Hard as I try, I can feel it still So down we go, around we go Know the good time coming to an end I'll say goodbye to my closest friends and ran Less than 24 hours realistically so if we started yeah at the right time we could do it in way less than 24 hours if we started yeah. theoretically like one in the morning <laughs> like let's say we start at one in the morning right right we then like <clears throat> like we gave send, ourselves 12 hours instead yeah, of 24 yeah so and what if we made it like we kept going down in the amount of time we had yeah what if, yeah what if the next one was we gave ourselves 23 hours and then 22 so yeah, then we were guaranteed yeah 24 episodes yeah. <laughs> it only became possible from just like because of the energy they were putting out into the world, like what makes this so sick is we were like, hey, if we're gonna fail, you guys are gonna watch us fail, but we're not gonna fail. And here's how sick it's gonna be. I think what I love most about stuff like this is like it's just so genuine and it's like real, and we're kind of just doing it because nobody else is, and that's the cool part about it. And are putting together a like we have 24 hours to basically plan the dopest show that we possibly can. Um, we started like an hour ago. At 7 p.m. or 6.30 p.m. we're in a thrilling concert at 7 p.m. the following day. So the goal is to entirely plan, book, and coordinate an entire concert in 24 hours um, and do it entirely for free. See him? He's in the water right here. Oh my god, from, from Lavish Layer too. Oh Jesus, bro, we're getting chased. We gotta fight, yeah. And I got sniped. Cool. And, okay, I got sniped. Yeah, that's lit. Super sick. Well. I hate Fortnite. <laughs> Warehouse Summer. Spell S-U-M-M-A. <laughs> Warehouse Summer. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh.
Stuff, bro, when Nick showed me that shit, I'm like, it's hard. <laughs> With uh, Paco, yeah, yeah, that shit, hey, that shit was hard, bro. That shit was hard, bro. Like, come with urges. Search to be perfect, niggas often lurking. Why do I feel this way? Only writing got me dark in my pay. One shot, shall I fillet? Shall I fight, man? Or walk away? Let me look at it. No parking, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday, except by permit. One hour parking. 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday. Don't those directly contradict each other? That's McLean. Because the McLean is going to go in and he's going to, we'll call it, do some sprucing. He's going to spruce some shit up. Uh huh. Bet. What's up, fuckers? <laughs> <laughs> Never in a million years would I would have ever thought that Tony would be teaching us how to use LinkedIn. <laughs> Yeah, bro, it's, now is the time to uh, to launch this show 100%. Like, the culture is ready for it. Yeah, when when do you want to, like, lock in and try and, like, flesh this out more? <laughs> okay, so what else is, like, interesting? I think it should mainly be a show about you, but for moments, like a guest could come in every cool. now and then for like a single bit. Yeah, that could be cool. I think that that's an interesting way to like break it up. I mean, we probably could just find a desk that would go like right here that you could sit at yeah, still. Sure, and then and, like, sitting it kind of goes over your, and yeah, it could be like sitting here, maybe, and then we just like, now back to our a plot of this episode the main story the newest member of live 2 timmy skelly we found him about a year ago in a bar much like this one Joe doesn't even use bloods <laughs> doesn't even shoot an s log I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We're at the Escondi today for a Timmy Skelly show. Uh, this is the busiest it's ever been, I feel like. It gets bigger every week. You'll notice all around us there are multiple animals posted on the wall. As well as a bar, this place doubles as a home for some of the largest taxidermy collections in all of Northern California. Southern California. Don't you know what it is?
but performs the lyrics looking to camera. Set baby, you roll and not good boy. baby. The legs was like the the wrap around and it connected to the head. Some blue shit. Yeah, I like that. That's what's up. Yo, yeah, you can throw them shits away, bro. Yeah, hell yeah, fucking. <laughs> Uh, my bro right here is a producer too. He, he yeah, double yeah. platinum right now with New Freezer. We did a uh, New Freezer with Kendrick Lamar and Risk the Kid. Damn. Tapping with my bro, grab our Instagrams and shit, bro. Maybe we could collab someday. Hell yeah, man. I think you should film it from over here. Okay. <laughs> you go right here. Go like this. Right here. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. This is ultimate insanity. Oh, oh, close. Okay. Ready? Yep. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. He scores. Ba ba ba. <laughs> Thank you. He goes for the victory lap. There he is, the all-star champ. Yo, what up? How does it feel to have officially written a hit now? <laughs> Get the entire story in like two and a half hours so I can just like sit down whenever I'm feeling like that and just 